Hi lovelies, hi there and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, Karibu Sana. If you're a returning subscriber, Karibu Karibu. And if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do. Alright, it's night time. I turned off the lights and lit a candle. So the bedroom is feeling very um, moody, very cozy. So I'm just feeling very chill as I'm doing this video. I'm sure you can feel the vibe, right? <laughs> so anyway, to the video. So today's video will be about the premise of um, this reality TV show, The Ultimatum. Um, the first time I watched this um, TV show is the, you know, the, the, the South African franchise. So The Ultimatum South Africa. And as I was watching the program, as I was watching the series, the reality TV series, something clicked in my mind. I personally do not believe in giving anybody an ultimatum especially a man an ultimatum whether it's an ultimatum for them to do something or an ultimatum for them to stop doing something um, in this case in the case of the ultimatum the tv show um, the premise is that you know um, one partner is giving the other an ultimatum to essentially propose to them because the other partner is either unwilling or unable to get married at that moment. So one partner is essentially pushing for marriage and the other partner is pushing back the whole idea. And you notice that in the entire show, it's only one man who's actually pushing for marriage. Majority of the people who have given an ultimatum to their partner are actually the ladies, the ladies are the ones who've given their men the ultimatum to, you know, marry them or leave. A man who loves you, you will not have to give them an ultimatum, you will not have to force them, you will not have to um, twist them, you will not have to beg, you will not have to cry, you will not have to essentially manipulate you will not have to push you will not have to prod them to actually marry you men know within a very short period of time that the woman they are with are the wom is the woman that they want to settle down with okay so the whole idea that you're dating a man for however long or however short you're dating them and you feel that this man is not um seeking out to marry you is not proposing to you, you, you then it just essentially means that that man does not want to get married to you a lot of the times you think that the man is not ready a lot of the times you think that you know maybe he needs to get his act together he needs to get his money right which in some cases it does happen however what people forget to realize is that it's not that the man is unwilling or unable to get married that man is unwilling to get married to you all right little wonder then you'd find in such a scenario you break up with the man and then within a short period of time they meet somebody else and they marry them with the quickness and it's like why did they take so long? Why did they have to beg and prod, prod and, ble and plead, you know? But then they meet somebody else and within the shortest time, he's basically chasing the woman down to, you know, to settle down and get married, okay? And it does not necessarily mean, not even necessarily, it does not mean that there's something wrong with you. It does not mean that um, you're not worthy of marriage. It just means that either you two are incompatible or that man did not know a good thing that was in front of him. That man did not know the value that you have, the worth that you have. So it's his loss, essentially. That said, it does not mean that you have to make him see your value. It does not mean you have to make him see your worth. All right. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your energy on somebody who does not feel the need to, you know, um, secure your future together. You, you, you are basically trying to beg a person who does not see the value in having you in their future. You're basically trying to, you know, 
put a person who does not see not even just the value in your future but does not see um you with them in the long term all right so essentially what happens is that like in the case of kenya you either end up with a promise ring okay or you end up with a shut up ring because and you see particularly for the shut up ring even alone the the promise ring a lot of the men who give women a shut up ring they just literally give them to shut them up okay they give a woman a shut up ring so that you know they can put you on waiting mode for however long and then you'll end up just remaining a perpetual fiance which is even worse because you're going as a woman to live in a deluded state in a form of a delusion where you think that someday this man will marry you and then that you feel as a woman then that now gives you the license to give this man nini you know kids all right you feel now you can now enmesh your life with them even have a joint bank account and all these things but then in reality this man is just giving you a ring to shut you down to shut you up really okay And you see you're not their wife you're just still a girlfriend a girlfriend and a fiance and not a wife a girlfriend and a fiance and not a wife and you know you, I don't think you have the money that Mariah Carey has to sue him and to say that you know he wasted you your time like like Mariah Carey did with the forgetting the Australian billionaire Yeah, Mariah Carey sued the, the, the ex-boyfriend because of wasting her time. I don't think a lot of us have the sense and even the resources to sue a man for wasting our time. So why even give him that time and why give him the power to waste your time? Why should you chase a man down to marry you? Why should you force beg and plead for a man to marry you? If he wanted he would and the fact that is not it means that he is he does not want to marry you plain and simple why are you torturing yourself and wasting your own time stealing your own joy living in a delusion of something that will never happen i'm all for being delulu but some delusions my friend you really have to wake up and smell the roses if a man really wanted to marry you then he would but the fact that you have to beg and plead and prod and threaten and give ultimatums surely yeah so this whole premise of an ultimatum to a man particularly in the sense that a woman is giving a man an ultimatum to settle down with them that is honestly very desperate it's very very desperate and you're essentially setting yourself up to be used abused and discarded you need to learn to let people exercise their self will without forcing them the moment you give somebody an ultimatum you are essentially taking away their self will because you're forcing their hand to do something that they are otherwise will not have been will not have done all right the thing is let him let him um marry you if that's what he wants and let him not marry you if that is essentially what he does not want to do all right but the moment you start forcing issues with a man by giving them an ultimatum you are essentially taking away their self will you need to learn to let people be let them make their choices all for themselves without you having to push and prod and beg and plead and cry and manipulate and give um ultimatum so the whole idea of an ultimatum is essentially tries you're trying to supersede somebody's self will just let him but in you letting them make the decision um in terms of what they want to do what they would rather do it also allows you to exercise your own self will it also lets you to make your own decision because for instance if you feel that in you letting them make the decision on whether or not to marry you then also in response you also letting yourself respond and make the decision whether this is somebody you want to be with or not so in you um giving somebody an ultimatum you're not letting them exercise their self will and you're also not letting yourself exercise your self will so it's a it's a lose lose all around all right what i would do if i was in their position it could never be me but what i would do if i was in their position i would actually say you know what i'd like to get married not to them 
I just like to get married by this and this time. I'd like this my family to look like this. I'd love my kids to go to such and such a kind of um school. I'd love um our family to have such and such a kind of a lifestyle. So you are essentially making your desires known, but you're not necessarily saying that it has to be him because if he does not step up within a certain a period of time, then you step out. You move on with your life and get a man who will actually want to settle down with you. Yeah? Because if one man is not willing to do it, then somebody else is willing to do it. So why waste your time with a man who's not willing to settle down with you? What one man will not do, another man will absolutely do. If a one man is refusing to marry you, by all means move on. Why should you waste your time and your energy giving ultimatums? I'll just be like, you know what, I'd love to be married within the next, let's give an example, within the next two years. Um, so you st you're essentially stating your desire. I'd like to be married within the next two years. And again, you're not necessarily saying you want to get married to him. All right. So it means that within the next one year, if there's no talk of marriage, within the next one year, if he does not show a desire that he wants to settle down, then you move on with your life. You go start dating again. You put yourself out there in the market again. But this whole idea that you're giving a man an ultimatum to marry you and then he gives you a promise ring or a shutter spring and then you become a perpetual fiancé. I even heard of women who are have be, been fiancés for 10 years, 20 years and then you give this man, you know, kids and then you're doing wife duties. Okay, and then he's calling you wifey. Oh, please, making me gag in my mouth. That is repulsive and ridiculous. And any woman who accepts something like that honestly does not know their value and their worth. Okay? So the whole premise of this show, The Ultimatum, I don't agree with it. I really do not agree with it. It's very, it's giving very desperate vibes. Yeah. From the people who are giving the ultimatum. Because why should you force somebody to marry you? If they're unwilling, just break up with them and move on. Date other people and find your person. I think you're wasting your time. And I think you're actually blocking your blessings from actually having the opportunity to date other people, to explore life and to actually meet your person. But you're there begging. And again, 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 it's a lack mentality and a poverty mentality. The whole idea that your life is literally wrapped around this particular person, that you cannot imagine your future without this particular person. Are they God? Are they oxygen? Like you really need to snap out of these needy and desperate ways. You really need. And a lot of the women, again, who you, 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 you are, what do you call it, a ride or die. Ride to where and die for what? You're not Jesus. You know? You're not Jesus. That you have to sacrifice your whole life for a man who's not even willing to commit to you can never be me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Can never be me. Can never be me. So this whole, the premise of the show, for me, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. From the get-go, it's giving desperate. From the get-go, it's giving a lack mentality. From the get-go, it's giving a pikmisha. From the get-go, it's giving um, low value. From the get-go, it's giving a lack mentality, poverty mentality. It's just no, 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 no. And I wish more women would actually wake up to realize what their worth and value is, to realize that they're so... There are so many people out there who are willing to marry you, settle down with you. Why should you limit yourself to this one person will, who is not even willing to take the next step? So no, I, I don't agree with the premise of this show. I haven't watched the other franchises. Apparently there's an American one and various from various other countries. So the South African one was the first one that I watched. Um, so I'm assuming the premise of the show uh, runs across whichever country um, it's presented in. I'm assuming the premise of the show is the same, that one partner wants to settle down and the other partner is not willing. And I, 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 I'm, I'm sure majority of the people, again, even in the other franchises, it's the lady who is who wants to settle down and the guy is unwilling all right another thing for me personally the reason i don't believe in 
ultimatums, what I believe instead in is natural consequences. If I need something done, or rather if I desire something to be done, or I desire for a habit to stop, I will communicate. Okay? And if the person I'm communicating to, whom I want them to do something, or whom I want them to stop doing something, and they do not um, step up to whatever it is I require them to do, then I either remove myself from the situation, I withdraw my energy from them, I withdraw access from me, from them, okay? I move forward with my life and I just cut them out of my life. That is one of the natural consequences. Because it cannot be, so for instance, let me give even a basic one, yeah? Um, let's imagine you're in a relationship or a marriage and you want to go out on dates and you keep telling your husband, you know what, um, you haven't taken me out on a date, da da, and he's dilly darling and what have you. You just take yourself out on a date. Why should I keep begging you to take me out on a date? And I'll dress up and I'll either go out by myself or I'll go out with my friends. But I'm not going to desperately try to give you an ultimatum to take you to, for you to take me out on a date. It's not going to happen. I'll take myself out on a date. I'll go out on a date with my girlfriends. All right. So the natural consequence is that I'm going to give myself the thing that I require for myself. In as much as I would love my partner take me out on a date and he's not doing that, okay, of course, it's never going to happen for me. But you get the point. This is just an example and a hypothetical. But if a date is what I require and they are not taking me out on a date, the natural consequence will be I will take myself out on a date. I will go out on a date with my friends, okay? I will do the things I need for myself, the natural consequence will be that now he'll realize that by the way this chick is actually dressing up and going out and doing her thing and he'll now start wondering like where did all these bazaars come from where, where who is she meeting where is she having so much fun where is she so dressed up where is she glowing who is she dressing for and then now he'll desire to take me out on a date and i'll be like i'll, I'll decide you know um yeah I'll, I'll i'll find some time and see whether we can go out on a date but it does not mean that i'm going to beg and prod and plead and no or give an ultimatum that oh if you do not take me out on a date i'm going to nope 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 keep yourself busy keep yourself occupied uh you know um make romanticize your life do those things you desire that other people do for you do it for yourself first all right so yeah, so let me know what you think in the comment section. Have you ever given somebody um, an ultimatum? Did it work out or did everything crumble? <laughs> Do let me know. Until next time, keep shining, keep smiling. I'll see you on the next one. Toodles.